Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I'm the one. Whoa, I forgot how loud this was. I'm the one and the only Hobo Tom. And first, I have to apologize to all my fans out there. Um, last time, after I worked the races, I think there was there was a pretty quick change of temperature because I went from being nice and cuddly warm, and then all of a sudden, like the next, like that night, like I decided to go out and hobo and do my normal job and stuff. And I'll tell you what, that temperature dropped. Um, right now, we're in a little cold spell here in the state of Florida, which I should not be complaining about because it's nothing. I think it's like 40-something out there. It might even get to around freezing. But the thing is, as you get older, your body does not like abrupt temperature changes so i'm a little bit behind i have been watching some pro wrestling in fact i'm here to do a pro wrestling show i'm here to talk about nxt 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 um the reason why i don't go live is because i'm still on my 90 day suspension that'll be up probably the first week in april i'm okay with that i tried i tried to give you my viewing audience all the love i can um, a couple of news and notes. I do have to work a whole bunch of races at the end of the month. There will be no Royal Rumble for me. I will, however, try to make some predictions. Predictions! Yes! Brother Nero! I knew you'd make guesses. Actually, I did a lot today. Got the truck done. Got my fishing pole. I'm so happy. And I don't have to work tomorrow until 1. So literally I make this video. Shower. I'll keep the I'll keep this. This stuff has to go. But yeah. I get the Tranquilo. So it starts off with L.A. Knight. Yes. It's the one, the only. Eli Drake who is so good. Uh, ooh, he is one of the most entertaining talkers around. However, he got interrupted by Grace and Walla, who, as I learned, because last Tuesday I was working the other races, I was working the testing, and I hope everyone enjoyed those videos. Um, mind you, I will be making more videos about the racing as it comes up, mainly the weekend of the 24 hours, because I have to work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is good, because that means I don't have to work overnight Saturday to Sunday, because that just sucks. Although I do have to get some stuff done. But what's my cell phone charge on? I think the only thing I only thing I missed is that I have to call the lease company and figure out if I'm owed anything. Because I was smart, I pay it off early. Always pay your debts off early, folks. Again, to quote the bard. Yes. Be borrower nor lender be. Sounds sage advice for everyone. But yeah, Eli Drake doesn't borrow from anyone, even though he does sound like the White Rock, which is pretty cool. And eventually I'll be putting up a whole bunch of other videos because this is sitting in my notebook right now. Um, yeah, Grayson Waller talked smack to him. Then Dexter Loomis came out. We had Dexter Loomis versus Grayson Waller. Fun match. Um, Loomis works so for Waller. That's so good. He, has zip <laughs> he catches the boot. <laughs> pulls him in for a clothesline. Uh, Waller... However, he gets in charge after a little sojourn outside the ring. He begins to work over the arm of Dexter Loomis. Dexter Loomis doesn't need those arm strengths anymore. He has an amazing wife. Wife! Yeah. Just wish I what what I had. Some days. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see here. So, again, uh, Loomis, he did the pop-up uppercut. And three, and three neck breakers right in a row. Walt, uh, well, Jay, uh, well, uh, Grayson Waller goes for the ride. However, Veer showed up. Veer. Veer. Hey. Uh, he cost Dexter Loomis the match. Grayson Waller hit the stunner, which I guess is the Waller effect. Solid enough match. Veer showed up on NXT, though. Odd. But that's okay. You know what? Solid match. I can see where it's going. Cheeseburger match. Cheeseburger. 
Then Walter. Walter is in the back. Where Bivens is talking smack. But Walter does not talk smack. Walter smacks talkers. Walter picks up Pivens by the jacket. Roddy. Roddy dies tonight. Uh, then the, we have the Creed Brothers versus Briggs and Jensen. Briggs and Jensen need to learn a very valuable life lesson. Briggs and Jensen's... You might be partying with the lesbians. I mean, um, Casey Caden and, and Kat Nazaro. But, yeah. They're lesbians. You're just excited because you saw them make out. Guess what? <laughs> None for you. But yeah, they just want someone to go and party with. And yeah, you will see a whole bunch of stuff you never thought you'd ever see in your life. But yeah, um, this was actually a pretty good match. This is part of the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Briggs and Jensen's are really good. They kind of hold their own for the most part. Uh, Creed's, once they get some mat wrestling. <coughs> mm, nasty stuff. Let me clear my throat. So I don't think it's COVID because the food I ate last night tasted amazing. The soup I had today tasted like spicy chicken soup. Pretzels just taste like salty stale bread. That pretzel I had, yeah, it tastes like chewy bread. And the lemon iced tea tastes like lemon iced tea. So I'm still doing pretty good. This... Friday will be the big test because it's a pizza. If I can't start, like the day I go for my COVID test is the day I can't, I can't start testing, tasting stuff. And then I know I have issues. Because, yeah, I'm a hobo. I have to work for my paycheck. I don't work. Zero work. Zero pay. And no health insurance, too. Great government. Evil government. Although DMC was... D huh. DMV wasn't too bad today, so I probably shouldn't complain. But yeah, the Creed's against the Matt Wrestling, that's good. The dual tags. Briggs cleans house. The suplex. Passover. Drop. And the clothesline to finish off. I'll tell you what, the Creed brothers impress me more and more all the time. Solid match. Cheeseburger match. Then we get Dante Chen, one of the first... Singaporean wrestlers takes on Guru Raj, which I guess is Indian for jobber. Um, Chen flies over the top, and then Duke, whatever his name is, shows up, beats up Dante Chen. Yeah, whatever that was. I don't know, that was weird. If you're going to showcase him, I mean, just really showcase him, can a suit match. I mean, he can, even I could jump over the top rope once. Then we get a Harlan and Gacy. I'll tell you what. This Joe Gacy guy is growing on me. I like that. I like the fact that I did not like him, and now I'm like, I dig it. I get it. It's like what Joey Ryan was to cancel culture without being a total scuzzbag. Oh, I mean, Miami scuzzbag. Yeah. Sleeves ball. Yeah, because I almost got to headbutt someone at work. What a freaking tweak head. And by the way, folks, Coke is the good stuff. The meth. Stay away from that shit. As I told my coworkers and made them utterly laugh, drugs are bad. Don't do drugs. Uh, Rex Steiner did an interview. Rex Steiner channels his papa and his uncle so great. Then we had Tony D'Angelo doing the eulogy of Peter Dune. I guess he murdered him with a crowbar. That sounds about right for most Italians. Well, the most Italians do prefer a 22. 22s are great. They, they kind of disintegrate. They stay in the body. Unless you're really up close, they don't go through and through. Or unless you had something like really soft in the body, they don't go through and through. They tend to get lodged in stuff. Very tough to find. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't be saying that. That makes me sound like a hitman or something. Yeah, um, when Carmella Hayes comes up, and then to the moon, Cameron Grind shows up. <coughs> I did not cough until I went to the moon. 
My vocal cords are just shot, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, then, um. Yeah, we, where was I? Oh, yeah, um. Then we had Frezza and Leon. They're trying to make another Brazilian women tag team. They tried this with Ty Conti. It worked for a while. Ty Conti and Aaliyah. They need to do this right because they just can't keep on redoing this gimmick without people realizing, hey, this gimmick kind of sucks. So, yeah. Um, and the next match, we had Kaylee Rai. I didn't realize how, how incomprehensible Scottish people are until you listen to Kaylee Ray actually speak. She was taking on Ivy Niles. Ivy Niles is really good. I was shocked. You know what? For only having a few matches in NXT, granted, I know she has a whole MMA background. She's good. She hit the code of silence and leg DDT. That was great. But then Mandy Rose came out as a distraction. Oh, and then it was like a weird, just like basic back roll up. I don't know. I don't like that, especially coming from, like, Kylie Rai. So I could see, like, some stupid face. Like, Kylie Rai. Ha that happening to her. But, Ivy Niles wins. Ham sandwich of a match. Then we have Harlan taking out Odyssey Jones. That's great. It's like, we have to get all this negative energy out. So he just beats up someone. Makes sense to me. I like it. And then we have Legato Del Fantasma taking on the Jobber team. DJZ was great. He started to dance. DJZ's so good. He has so much potential. Legato Del Fantasma, they have to go back to wearing masks. I know they can't. Um, again, LDF, Legado Del Fantasma, did the wishbone split on the one jobber guy. I don't even know what their names were. I'm like, Pfft. yeah, jobbers, whatever. I should have known that they were going to pull something tricky with this. You know, that one feel-good story in the Dusty Rhodes Classic. I'm kind of okay with it. Um, let's see, Santos gets involved, like, right in front of the ref. The ref said, you, out of here. But no, he didn't, though, which was kind of weird. And he didn't just disqualify them immediately. I guess because he just took a swipe at his legs. I don't know. Maybe that's not enough to get tossed out or or get DQ'd. And then Steiner, Rex Steiner, that was great. Pulled him off the ring, caught him. I don't know, like dropped him somewhere. That was great. We got a little phantasm was confused. Steiner's so good. Jobbers with a roll up victory. Oh, wow. I was shocked with this. Solid cheeseburger match. And then, yeah, Briggs and Jensen need to learn their lesson. They're in the locker room. And little Wendy Chu is just, like, sleeping on top of the lockers. How did she get on top of the lockers in the men's locker room? In such cute, fuzzy panda pajamas and a sippy cup. That's what I want to know. Briggs and Jensen are going to learn a very hard lesson. And that lesson is, you do not date lesbians. The lesbians will make out in front of you. They will do things to you, but at the end of the day, they are lesbians and will always be with each other. Even though they might let you in on some things, guess what? After they're done using and abusing you for their own purposes, ting! Out the door you'll go. They're back. They kind of said, oh, yeah. You know, these chicks. And now Casey Catanzaro and Lana Lane. I forget her new. I always forget her new name. I'm so used to Lana Lane. Yeah, now they're party girls. Party lesbians. They're the worst. Because they will have you pay for everything. In exchange for a little show. And then, psh, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Um, yeah, so that was that. Then we had Dakota Kai versus Yarlissa. Leon, I guess. I guess that's... Geez, she's one of the two. I just knew it was your Lisa. I will remember exotic Spanish names like that. Exotic is always erotic. 
Yeah. Um, Kai, the Dirty Heel Tactics. Then there was a bad boot. She kind of really missed her. Ayar did the flying clothesline. The gut wrench suplex looked great, though. Then a fall away slam with the bridge. That's very judo esque. I like when they show judo stuff. Judo, sambo, jujitsu, um, amateur wrestling, collegiate wrestling, freestyle, Greco Roman. Any of like the real martial arts stuff. If I see it and see it done good, I will always say yeah, that's good stuff. Um, however, Dakota Kai hit a haluva kick, beats Yalisa. Kind of makes sense. Dakota Kai wins. Not a bad match. Ham sandwich of a match. Then she starts to meet up Yalisa, but her tag team partner saves her. That's good. This will build something for the Women's Dusty Classic, I guess. I have no idea. Um, I miss it. Again, DIY. DIY. This shirt's probably becoming a collector's item now. I should stop wearing some of these shirts. Then we had, ah, yes, the main event of the evening. We had Walter, the ring general, taking on Roderick Strong. And while I don't think these two could have a bad match, this was fun to watch. Strong and hard hitting. Roddy starts off by getting ripped around. And then the arm ringer, the classic mat wrestling done. By Walter again, the true ring general. Mein Kampf, mein General. This great, I don't know, Gunther. That was weird. Yeah, this was his dad, who knows. Um, and Strong hit some forearms. And that was good. However, Walter just has that one chop. And that's it. It just takes one chop. And those chops are vicious. They, they, they can either sound utterly amazing. When they don't sound amazing, you're just like utterly terrified. Because literally, like the thing is, you, if you do a chop like the right way, it goes like thud and not so much a slap sound. You hear a thud and not a slap. Oh my goodness. That literally re will reverberate in your cyst, like in your lungs and your heart. It makes you feel so weird. I've had it done once. And I'll tell you what, it's just such a weird feeling. So let's see here. Oh, kind of froze up there for a moment. Who knows? Oh, well. A couple more minutes, and I'm done anyway. Yeah, so he hit a big chops. And then that kick. Oh. Again, Pivens got grabbed by Walter. However, this is a distraction because then... Of course, Roger Strong, the smarter person, goes for the most goes for the chop block. Walter, the sleeper, and Strong with running forearms. Walter wins like like a power bomb. They hit a su superplex, which was good to see. But yeah, it was kind of a weird ending. It was just like a quick. It was just like one thunderous chop down. And Roderick Strong, he could have been stunned too. That's the best thing. Like that's something you can just like bounce up from after like a couple of seconds. Seconds, you're like, oh, for that. I could see having the air knocked out of you for about three seconds and being pinned and then just kind of getting up. I mean, it's not like no selling Starship Pain. Austin Aries. But yeah, then um, Walter begins to beat up Roderick Strong some more. Bivens shows up. The Creed Brothers showed up. Imperium show up. Good stuff to end NXT. You know what? This was a good match. Weird ending, though. Cheeseburger match. So hopefully, I'll feel a little bit better. Maybe Saturday, or if I have a day off next week. So I hope I get like one day off in the middle of the week. That would be good. Whoa. What's in that motorcycle noise? But yeah, mainly because I have to do my grocery shopping and stuff. But you know what? Overall, NXT, I can never complain about NXT that much. Cheeseburger show. And that's it. Um, I promise I'll try and get some back work done. Eventually, it all depends a little bit how I feel and work schedule. Remember, I don't get paid on YouTube, so I actually have to go to work. 
and I'm missing hoboing time mainly because it's cold and I have a cold and that just sucks. So other than that, stay well everyone. Get through this cold cold shunt. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully you guys will see me later. Well, if not, I'm watching Macho Man versus Andre the Giant.